What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first video shot in my new studio space which at the moment is a room with a temporary setup back here and a bunch of boxes. So as you can see I haven't done much unpacking yet but uh, the space is great, I like the lighting. Um, gonna have to work on some sound dampening probably but so far so good. This is gonna be a quick little video focusing on a water cooling topic that I see pop up quite frequently which is how do I flush my radiators or should I flush my radiators or clean my radiators, rinse, whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, basically I'm going to show you guys how I flush or rinse out my radiators before I install them in my custom loop. Now keep in mind this is not necessarily the best way to do it. It's certainly not the only way. This is just the method I've been using for a few years now to rinse out my radiators before I install them into the loop. It seems to be working out just fine. I've had zero issues with particulate building up or coming out of the radiators. Uh, that being said, if you guys have any better suggestions or alternative methods for doing so, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to get some feedback and, and you know, uh, this, the community is all about learning from one another. So uh, don't be shy uh, in, in trying to share your opinion. Without further ado, let's go ahead and call this the how-to guide on pre-flushing or rinsing out your radiators before installing them into your custom loop. Depending on the radiator that you buy, you may or may not end up with some residual particulate from the factory. Some claim to be pre-flushed, and there's been some debate as to whether you need to clean them before using them, but considering the process is very cheap and easy, I see no reason not to. The only supplies you will need for this is some distilled water and some white vinegar. The vinegar is used to create an acidic solution that will help rinse the radiator and it's non-toxic. I also suggest having one of these syringes on hand, but it's not necessary. First you will fill a glass approximately one quarter to one third of the way with your vinegar, then the rest of the way with hot tap water. Extract the solution from the glass and fill your radiator to about 80 to 90 percent. You want to leave some room for the liquid to slosh around. Then plug the ports and gently tilt the radiator back and forth. You should hear and feel the liquid moving through the radiator. Usually doing this about 10 times is enough before you can let the fluid drain out. Now you can either drain the fluid into a clear container if you want to examine it for particulate, or you can just let it drain into the sink. I've found that repeating this process a few more times is enough to ensure your radiator is clean. After using the tap water and vinegar solution, you'll want to rinse the radiator a few times with distilled water. In total, you should only need to fill and empty each radiator about five times. At this point, you can consider your radiator clean and ready to install into your custom loop. When you have finished assembling your custom loop, I strongly recommend flushing the entire system at least a few times with distilled water. Not only will you be ensuring that your system is clean, but it's a great opportunity to do your leak testing before you install your expensive fluid. So as you can see, cleaning your radiators is very easy and not something you should be intimidated by. I hope that some of you found this video helpful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.